today we are going to discuss about in menstrual cycle the cycle of event starting from one menstrual period till the next one is called menstrual cycle during which cycles changes occurs in the endometrium every month cyclic menstruation is an indicator of a normal reproductive phase see the picture it is a cycle it's run in rhythmic for every 28 days it occurs a majorly four phases the color indicate in the different phases first phase is menstrual phase follicular phase ovulation phase and luteal or secretory phase the menstrual cycle is otherwise called reproductive cycle some important facts about menstrual cycle mean during the mc mc for menstrual cycles the durations for the menstrual cycles mean for 28 days only 50% soft range 21 to 35 days average duration of the menses 3 to 8 days normal estimated blood loss during the menstruation approximately 30 ml ovulation occurs usually day 14 36 hours after the onset of a menstrual cycles lh surge lh for luteinizing hormone the phases of mc and ovulation regulated by the interaction between the hypothalamus pituitary and ovary the mc or menstrual cycles and ovulation regulated by the hypothalamus pituitary and ovaries so mean age of menopause and menopause or so menopause 12.7 menopause 51.4 menopause means end to the puberty so average age for 12 years 7 month then menopause is the end process of the menstrual cycles or reproductive age average age for menopause 51.4 definition the rhythmic series of a physiological changes that occurs in fertile women under the control of the endocrine systems necessary for the reproduction average length 28 days but typically varies with shorter and longer cycle so rhythmic series physiological changes that occurs in the fertile women physiological physical functions occurs in the fertile women under the control of a endocrine system this process is controlled by endocrine system so necessary for the reproductions it is a very essential for the reproduction average length for 28 days but typically varies from longer or shorter menopause a woman's the first menstruation typically occurs around the age 12 so occurrence depending on overall the health and diet the menopause means initials or initiate the puberty or enter to the reproductive stage the menopause women's first menstruation typically occurs around the age 12 so average age for 12 so occurrence depending on overall health and diet this process is depending upon the health conditions and diet next one menopause end of woman reproductive phase is commonly occurs between the age 45 to 55 average age or between the age 45 and 55 so age of menopause is largely the results of genetics this menopause process is determined by the genetic factors of the women but menopause of the menstrual cycles determined by the health and diet physiological changes during the menstrual cycles can observed at a three different level neuroendocrine level ovaries level and uterus level so previously you study the physiological changes occurs in the uterus and ovaries 
and endocrine systems neuroendocrine level ovaries and uterus so menstrual cycles can be divided into three phases menstrual phase follicularage or follicular phase secrete or luteal phase female reproductive cycle so controlled by a monthly hormones cycles from the hypothalamus anterior pituitary and ovary the female reproductive cycle is controlled by a monthly hormones cycles from the hypothalamus anterior pituitary and ovary so monthly cycles of changes in ovary and uterus this monthly cyclic changes occurs in ovary and uterus first the ovary changes is called ovarian cycles or the physiological changes occurs in the ovary is called ovarian cycles changes in the ovary during and after maturations of the follicles and oocytes oocytes is am female gametes then uterine cycle or menstrual cycle preparation of the uterus to receive the fertilized ovum uterus is prepared for the implantation or the receiving the zygote if implanted does not occur the functional layers of the endometrium is red during the menstruation the prepared uterus is ready to receive the fertilized egg if does not receive any fertilized eggs the functional layers of the endometrium endometrium is a innermost layers of the uterus this layers is shed during the menstruation next one hormonal regulations of the reproductive cycles which are the hormones regulate the female reproductive cycles first one gonotrophic releasing hormones gnrh secreted by the hypothalamus control the female reproductive cycles the gonotrophic hormones gonotropic hormones control the female reproductive cycles it stimulates the anterior pituitary to secrete the follicle stimulating hormones fsh and luteinizing hormone hlh hypothalamus secreted the gonotrophic hormone or gonotrophic releasing hormone this gonotrophic releasing hormone stimulates the anterior pituitary to secrete the follicle stimulating hormones and luteinizing hormones the fsh and the lh target to ovaries and drive the ovarian cycle so monthly changes in the ovary gonotrophic hormones gonotrophic releasing hormones secreted by the hypothalamus the hypothalamus secreted gonotrophic releasing hormones stimulates the anterior pituitary anterior pituitary secretes the follicle stimulating hormones and luteinizing hormones those fsh and lh target to stimulate the ovarian in the monthly changes of ovarian cycle estrogen and progesterone from the ovaries drive the uterine cycles monthly changes in the uterus so two changes occurs in the female reproductive cycles the changes occurs in the ovaries is called ovarian cycle the changes occurs in the uterus is called uterine cycle anterior pituitary secreting substance or hormones is called follicle stimulating hormones and luteinizing hormones those hormones change in the ovary the estrogen and progesterone from the ovaries drive the uterine cycles so monthly changes in the uterus it is the diagrammatic representations of the hormonal changes in the female reproductive cycle first one hypothalamus hypothalamus secretes the gonotrophic releasing hormones gnrh this gonotrophic releasing hormones stimulate to the pituitary it is the pituitary glands the anterior pituitary so anterior pituitary secreted the lh and fsh luteinizing hormones and follicle stimulating hormones this luteinizing and follicle stimulating hormones stimulates the gonads 
gonad stimulates and activated the gonads to secretes the female reproductive hormones this female reproductive hormones occurs in ovaries and to stimulates the or regulate the functions of ovaries and uterus hormonal levels the blends during the female reproductive cycles female reproductive cycles occurs in a majorly four phases first phase menstrual phase second one follicular phase third one ovulation fourth one luteal phase the hormones regulated in the follicular phase ovulation phase and luteal phase so the hormones fsh then lh estrogen and progesterone so fsh so dominant or increase the simultaneously the estrogen levels is increased so reductions of progesterones estrogens increase reduce them progesterones this process is follicular phase so ovulation phase is all the enzymes or hormones regulates or slow down the process so again the luteal phase luteal phase the lh levels is reduced a standard or low than the progesterones or luteinizing hormones the estrogen levels is reduced the progesterone levels is elevated to leads to the luteal phase what is the hormonal levels in the blood during the female reproductive cycle next one reproductive cycle the reproductive cycles is classified into two types namely ovarian cycle and uterian cycle again the ovarian cycle is classified into three first one follicular phase then next one ovulation then third one luteal phase the ovarian changes classified into three types follicular phase ovulation then luteal phase the uterian cycle again classified into three proliferative phase and secretory phase then third one menstruation phase or menses the hormones fsh and lh involved are influence in the ovarian cycle the hormones estrogen and progesterone influence the functions in uterine cycle next one phases of ovarian cycle first phase of ovarian cycle is follicular phase ovarian cycles changes occurs in the ovary follicular phase follicular phase fsh from anterior pituitary stimulates the follicle growth a follicles grow into a graafian follicles a mature follicles is called a graafian follicles the granulosa cells of follicles secretes the estrogen and incubates increase the level of estrogen and incubates incubates the fsh increase them estrogen level and incubates them fsh so increase the estrogen also stimulates the secretion of lh so increase the estrogen level secretes or stimulates the luteinizing hormone suppress them follicle stimulating hormone the follicular phase anterior anterior pituitary stimulates the follicle growth follicles grow into a graafian follicles the follicles is a immature graafians or immature follicles grow into a mature follicles is called a graafian follicles agonal cells of a follicle secreting estrogens incubates the follicle cells secreting the estrogens and incubates increases the level of estrogen and incubates incubates the fsh excess secretions of estrogen suppress the fsh and increase the estrogen also stimulates the secretion of lh stimulates the secretion of lh next one ovulation so lh stimulates the rupture of a graafian follicles and releases of oocytes from the ovary into the pelvic cavity fibrae of a fallopian tubes pick up the ovulated oocyte so see the next picture for the process of ovulation it is the second events or second process of ovarian cycle a mature follicles or graafian follicles 
is ruptured or released of oocytes from ovary the ovum is ovum or oocytes is released from the ovary is called ovulation the pelvic cavity the primary of uh, fallopian tubes fallopian tubes is a ovi duct or them fertilized tube the ovi duct pick up the ovulated oocytes it is the diagrammatic view for the ovulation diagrammatic view for the ovulation the proliferative phase or primary follicles furtherly grow the follicles it is the primary follicles grow the follicles like egg cells or follicular cells is furtherly develop matured follicles is called graafian follicle rupturing the graafian follicles and releases the egg cells this process is called ovulation the matured egg are mature follicles releases of eggs is called yam ovulation so after releases or after ovulation the empty follicle layers is sinks and thick act as a corpus luteum the corpus luteum is regresses it secreting the reproductive hormones in the life it's also a ovulation phase of the feature or diagrammatic representation it is the proliferative phase or follicular phase the follicles is developed into a graafian follicles so rupturing of the graafian follicles are matured follicles and releases of egg so after releases of egg or after ovulation the outer layers of the egg productive coat is sinks and contains to form a corpus luteum a corpus luteum is very thick and secreting a some hormones or enzymes is called a corpus albicans next one phases of a ovarian cycles a ovarian cycles occurs in a three phases namely proliferative phase or follicular phase ovulation and third one luteal phase post ovulation phase after ovulation phase so hlh stimulates the development of corpus luteum from the ovulation or a yeah, rupturing of follicles hlh stimulates the development of corpus luteum uh, increase the or elevates the lh level the lh is initiate or stimulates to the rupturing follicles so corpus luteum secretes them most mostly progesterone and some estrogen progesterones prepare the endometrium for possible frequencies after ovulation the egg productive or ovum productive layers is called corpus luteum it's highly thick and sink to secrete a estrogen and progesterone so progesterones and some of the estrogen progesterones prepare for the endometrium for the possible pregnancy it is the diagrammatic view of the ovarian cycle first phase follicular phase second phase ovulation phase third phase luteal phase see the pictures primary follicle it's furtherly growth and developed into a secondary follicle secondary follicles developed into a mature follicles or graafian follicle rupturing of graafian follicle releases of egg is called ovulation after ovulation the mature graafian follicular layers is called corpus corpus immer rhythms a corpus luteum is further sink and secretes the hormones progesterone and estrogen the corpus albicans is a scar next one phases of uterus cycle so previously phases of ovarian cycles then next one phases of uterus cycles the phases of uterus cycles again classified into three types proliferative phase first phase proliferative phase raising the estrogen levels from the growth follicle stimulating growth of them functional layers of endometrium to 4 to 10 mm thickness proliferative phase raising the estrogen level increase the estrogen level from the growing follicle stimulate 
from the growing follicle. Growing follicles stimulates the growth of the functional layers of the endometrium. It increases the growth of the endometrium to 4 to 10 millimeter thickness. Endometrium is a inner layer of the uterus. Next one, secretory phase. The corpus luteum of ovary so secreted the progesterone. So progesterone stimulates or increase the thickness of the functional layers of the endometrium to 12 to 18 millimeters. Increase the blood supply in the endometrium. Growth of the endometrial glands and the secrets of M uterine nerves. The secretory phase, a corpus luteum of ovary secreted the progesterone, the corpus luteum of the ovary. After ovulation, the ovary productive layers is called the corpus luteum. It secretes the progestons. Progestron stimulates the increase the thickness of the functional layers of the endometrium. Endometrium is the innermost layers of the uterus. It's to 12 to 18 millimeters. Increase the blood supply into the endometrium. The progesterones increase to the blood supply in the endometrial regions or the uterus. The growth of the endometrial glands and secretion of M uterine melts. So phases of uterine cycle. Third cycle, menstrual phase or menses. So declines the progesterone level. So reduce the progesterone level causes the functional layers of the endometrium to discharge resulting in the vaginal bleeding so is called menstruation. The elevations of the progesterones to thickness of the endometrium or inner layers of the uterus declines in the progesterone. Progesterone levels is decreased. Decrease the progesterone levels causes the functional layers of the endometrium, the inner layer of the uterus discharged resulting in the vaginal bleeding is called the menstruation. So marks the begins of the next cycles. It's, let's move to the next cycles for every 28 days in a rhythmic. It is the diagrammatic representation of the uterine cycle. First phase for a yeah, menstruation phase. First five days menstruation phase. Then next one proliferative phase. Proliferative phase or ready to synthesize the uterine layer. Then next phase secretory phase. So after ovulation. After ovulation the inner layer of the uterus is ready to receive the implanted or fertilized eggs or zygote. Those are the three phases or physiological changes occur in uterus. Next one, summary of ovarian and menstrual cycles. Both ovarian cycle and menstrual cycles. The hypothalamus secreted the gonotrophic releasing hormone. The gonotrophic releasing hormone stimulates the anterior pituitary glands and secretes them FSH and LH. Follicle stimulating hormones and luteinizing hormones. The follicle stimulating hormones and luteinizing hormones regulates the ovaries and uterus changes. Ovarian cycle. Ovarian cycles. The FSH stimulates the primordial follicles. Then primary follicles, secondary follicles, mature follicles or graphene follicles. So after ovulation, so LH is dominant. It's the corpus luteum or corpus luteum secreting the hormones as progesterones and estrogens increase the LH level, stimulates the secretions of progesterone and estrogen. So during the uterine or menstrual cycle, the same, the estrogen elevation levels during the proliferative phase or follicular phase, it regulates the menstruation and proliferation. So after ovulation, the corpus luteum secreting the progesterone levels and elevates the progesterone and LH declines the FSH level. So it is leads to the first ovulatory phases or decrease the progesterone levels or estrogen level increase the progesterone levels decrease the uterus inner layers and 
leads to the menstruals cycle abnormalities so anovulation anovulatory cycles hypomenorrhea metrorrhea oligomenorrhea amenorrhea and polymenorrhea it is the reproductive cycles or menstrual cycles abnormalities process the women cycles overview of the women cycles so day 1 menstruation begins bleeding so begins with the menstruation or menstrual cycles day 5 menstruation is usually ended so usually or uh, the average menstruation period 1 to 8 days 1 to 5 days day 14 ovum has matured and burst off out the ovary so ovulation day 14 occurs in ovulation ovum is released from the ovary day 15 after 24 hours the egg is done after 24 hours the egg is waiting for the fusion of sperm day 26 in the absence of fertilization absence of fertilization estrogen and progesterone levels is dropped drop out the estrogen and progesterone levels and the endometrium lining is break down so endometrium is break downs and leads to the degenerate of the inner layer of the uterus day 28 usually initiate or begins to the next menstrual cycle then so we are completed in menstrual cycles in a yeah, various phases on hormones involving in the menstrual cycles next one menopause so menopause is the phase in a yeah, women's life when ovulation and menstruation is stop ovulation and menstruation process is stopping period is called menopause the average age of menopause is 45 to 50 years it indicates the pregnant cessation is primary functions of the ovaries it indicates the permanent cessations are pregnant cessations of the primary functions of the ovary cessations is a aging or stop a permanent aging it indicates of the permanent cessation of primary functions of the ovary the primary functions of the ovary is the formation of ovum so menopause is indicates the functionless of the ovary then next one menstrual hygienics how to maintain a hygienic conditions during the menstrual period menstrual hygienic is a vital for the good health well being <coughs> well being so dignity empowerment and productivity of the women the impact of the full menstrual hygienics in girls is increase the stress level fear and embarrassment during the menstruation clean and safe absorbed cloth materials sanitary napkins pads tampons and the menstrual cups have been identified as cm menstrual user to manage the menstruation so changing the sanitary napkins or sanitary materials for 4 to 5 hours as per the requirements of the comfortability it is the menstrual hygienics to maintain the menstrual hygienics during the menstrual periods it lead to the healthy life okay today we are completed in menstrual cycles and phases involving in menstrual period there are yeah majorly four phases occurs in female reproductive phase or reproductive cycle first one menstrual cycle then second one follicular or follicular phase third one ovulatory phase fourth one luteal or secretory phase and changes occurs in ovary and changes occurs in uterus then finally we are discussed in menstrual hygienics okay next we discuss in a next topic in the next class thank you